Hi, my name is Andy Park. Welcome to this channel on productivity. In today's video, I'll share three presenter mode in Microsoft Teams to better engage your audience during a meeting. When you share your screen in a Teams meeting, it typically looks something like this. But Teams now offer three presenter mode to better integrate your talking heads to the content. We have the standout where your talking head is in front of your content with your background masked out. Then we have the side-by-side -side mode where we have the content on one side and your talking head in another, both of which stand in front of a customized background. And lastly, reporter mode where you have the content on one side and your cutout talking head in front of the background. Let me show you how you can get to these different options. Let's start the meeting by going to meet now, start meeting. Here we can leave everything to the default setting and click on join now. Let's maximize the window here. Since this is just a test, we won't invite anyone. We can exit out of this. Now here, when we're ready to share our content, we can click on the share content button. You can also use the shortcut control shift E. And now at the top, we have this present presenter mode section. Okay, so the first option is to share content only, and this is what we're used to. The next three options are what's interesting. So the, the next option is for standout. Then we have side by side. And lastly, we have reporter. Let's start with the standout first. And choose a window to share. I'm going to select this presentation file. Okay. So you'll notice uh, we have this red border around the content to let us know that this is the content we're sharing. And then there's also another window that just popped up. Okay, so this is a preview window that lets us know what the audience is seeing. So as you can see, let's maximize this. Okay, so now we have this cutout of the talking head. So again, we're in the standout mode and we're standing out in front of the content that we're presenting. And this is interesting because now we can point to the different information within the presentation file and keep it a little more dynamic and engaging. Okay. Now, if we put our cursor to the top of the screen, we're presented with the same options that we saw earlier. Let's go to the side by side mode and see what that looks like. Okay. So as the name suggests, you have the content to the left and the talking head to the right. And the background that you see here is customizable and I'll show you how you can change that later. And then lastly, we have reporter mode. So when you click on that, uh, it's very similar to the side by side, but now you have the cutout of the talking head instead of it being boxed in in a square. And then you have the presentation content to the left. Okay. This mode actually reminds me of, you know, John Oliver does his uh, last week tonight. Um, similar to that. Okay. So in order to change the, the background, uh, you actually have to exit out of, uh, sharing. So I'm going to stop presenting. Okay. And let's maximize this. Go back to share content. And then here we have the button for customize. And these are the options that we have. Unfortunately, you can't upload your own background image. It would be nice if you can put like a official company background or logo, uh, but they don't have that option yet. And I just want to make the distinction. This is not the background behind your talking head like here. Okay. This is the customized background for your presentation content. Okay. So I'm going to select, I don't know, let's choose this one. Okay. Go back and let's go back to the side by side mode, let's say, and share the same file as we did earlier. Okay. Now you see that the background has changed. Okay. But now it's starting to look a little weird. I've got this really busy background behind me um, and it doesn't really fit in. So let's change that. I'm going to stop presenting. This time I'm going to go to the more actions menu and then under apply background effects, I can choose a clean background like this one, hit apply. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go back to share content. Let's do side by side again and choose a window to share. Okay, let's bring out the preview window, maximize it. It looks a little better. Okay, I just have to position myself in the right way. And when you're done with that, we can just close out of the preview, stop sharing the screen, and we can end the call. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And as a matter of fact, I have two additional videos on how you can share screen in Microsoft Teams, so be sure to check that out. Thanks, and bye for now. Mm -hmm.